What's up, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Lenovo IdeaPad Y500 laptop. One of the current trends in the computing world are lighter, thinner laptops that are easier to carry, but they also come with the disadvantage of not having the best multimedia presentation or being very hard to upgrade for the future. For the hardcore multimedia fan or gamer, they want a system that packs more than enough power to deliver the visuals they want for their form of entertainment. Lenovo believes it has exactly what these power users are looking for with the Y500. So just how well does it perform? Let's find out. The Lenovo IdeaPad that we reviewed was powered by a third generation Intel Core i7-3630QM processor running at 2.4 GHz that can be boosted up to 3.4 GHz via turbo. It came with 16 gigabytes of RAM and was supplemented by two NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M graphics cards with two gigabytes of graphical RAM for each. It packed a one terabyte hard drive spinning at 5400 RPM as well as a 16 gigabyte MSATA solid state drive and content was displayed on the 15.6 inch TFT LED backlit display with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080 at 220 nits. The system also packed Dolby Home Theater version 4 paired to JBL stereo speakers, Bluetooth 4.0, two USB 3.0 ports, one always-on USB 2.0 port, as well as HDMI and VGA outputs. Toss those thin laptops and ultrabooks right out the window, because the Y500 really enjoys its position as a desktop replacement, or what Lenovo calls it, a high-performance system. The larger frame and chassis of the computer can deflect any bruising knocks or problems that can damage smaller, thinner systems, and while you might not always want to haul this computer around, you can do so with assurance that it'll survive transit. Unlike some systems with a black or silver exterior, the Y500 has a brushed aluminum shell and accents on its wrist rests. Although the accents pick up fingerprints very easily, the look of the system helps the computer stand out next to other machines, especially when you combine it with the glossy display and the rounded ergonomic keys on the full alphanumeric plank. The same can be said about its sharper angles and the red accents on the system, primarily found within the backlit keyboard, which also allows you to toggle two separate levels of brightness to meet your needs. It's always a welcome addition to a computer to have backlighting for a keyboard, not only for the visual panache added to the computer, but also for the utility of operating the system in low light situations. Along with the backlighting, we really had to applaud the display of the Y500. Although glossy, it was quite sharp and distinctive for everything from still shots to videos, stream movies, and video games. It might not be as bright as some other displays on other systems, but we found that it was bright and clear enough to make content pop on screen. We didn't notice any screen tearing or artifacting, and we were impressed that the angles for the display were extraordinary. No heads-on necessary. It was possible to be on the extreme sides and not run into any screen darkening or color shifting at all, unless you chose to look at it from below or above. One feature that the Y500 has going for it over many other desktop replacement or performance systems out there is the Ultra Bay. Initially, it works to boost the performance of the system by running graphics cards in SLI but you can further boost the storage of the machine, for example, by slotting in an extra hard drive. You can throw in an extra cooling fan to improve performance and decrease heat, or you can throw in a DVD burner to burn media. These are optional items that can be swapped in a matter of seconds to quickly and easily reconfigure the system, making it much more versatile than most computers you see on shelves. We were struck by how much volume can be pumped out by the speakers. The JBL-powered speakers might only have 1.5 watts, but they can project a large amount of sound to fill a room. It's one of those things that definitely showcases the Y500's focus on media performance with the power of the speakers. The high notes are sharp and clean, and the mid-tones are full and rich. To counter the volume of the speakers, we were struck by just how quiet the Y500 was. The machine basically hums along at a quiet whir without a hint of noise, regardless of the load that we put on the machine or the length of time we ran the system. In many ways, if you turn the screen and the backlighting off on the keyboard, you might be hard pressed to tell that the computer was actually on. That brings us to the most obvious feature, which is the performance of the computer. Let's face it, this machine is packed with power, and it shows up by simply turning it on. We typically found cold startup times under 15 seconds, and the computer could easily run a ton of apps or programs without the slightest hint of strain. If you need a machine to process video, edit large numbers of high-definition images, or run memory-intensive programs without breaking a sweat or being tied to a tower, the Y500 is definitely the machine for you. All this said, the system isn't entirely perfect. We did run into some issues. Some of these are minor, but we do have to mention them, while others have a bit more of an impact on the machine itself. 
The computer performs incredibly well with basic and medium intensive tasks, but high performance programs or memory intensive system loads will experience a slight performance hit if the system is unplugged. Many people familiar with desktop replacement systems are also familiar with these kinds of performance hits, but we have to point out that you'll definitely have to keep the system plugged in for maximum performance. That leads us to the next issue, which is that the battery life of the system is pretty weak. The 6-cell battery provided 4 hours of battery life at best with minimally intensive tasks like browsing or email. The more intensive the task, the faster the battery would drain, to the point where intensive programs would provide at most an hour and a half of life. Charging the battery back to full takes at least 2 hours as well. Given the limited amount of battery life, as well as the performance hit for the system, you'll probably want to leave the system plugged in, which will just ruin the battery over time. Another minor thing to note is the weight of the system. The computer itself comes in at just under 6 pounds, but it feels much heavier than that due to its construction and its weight distribution. It's not something that would prohibit you from bringing the computer with you, but if you've gotten used to systems that are half the weight, it will feel massive. The same could be said about its giant power brick. The Y500 also came with quite a bit of bloatware, which will take a certain amount of time to go through and figure out whether the programs are worth it to you or not. We found a dictionary and an encyclopedia, the Zinio magazine and Kindle book reading apps, some photo apps, an entire suite of Lenovo apps, including cloud storage and companion app that promoted other apps as well as deals. It also came with the constant McAfee pop-ups that are just as annoying as ever. Now, if you get past these hiccups, you run into two significant flaws. The first one is related to the system's focus on media, and that's the limited bass from the JBL speakers. The speakers might be able to fill a room with sound, but the low end in music, movies, or games is quite thin and lacking. Even with the included one key theater option to toggle and adjust sound profiles, the bass isn't improved at all. That really hampers the media presentation of the computer. The other major problem is the heat of the machine. The vents of the system pumps out a ridiculous amount of heat. We put it on different surfaces and ran the computer for a few hours, and we could feel the heat bleeding through to the other side. This was very alarming, especially when we had it placed on a wooden table, so we definitely don't recommend that you put this on your lap unless you're willing to suffer serious burns. If you're in the market for a high-performance system, the Lenovo IdeaPad Y500 could be a good option for you. It has incredibly powerful specs, a very sharp display, and its customization options, thanks to the Ultra Bay, gives it a serious leg up over its competition. However, it's also held back by some of the traditional issues that desktop replacements face, including weakened battery life and performance hits when the system is unplugged. It also has a weaker audio presentation thanks to limited bass, and it projects an absurd amount of heat. Now, if you can overlook these features, you have one awe-inspiring system on your hands. For these reasons, we decided to give the Lenovo IdeaPad Y500 a 4 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on systems like the Lenovo IdeaPad Y500, be sure to check out techbargains.com Lenovo. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com videos.